Here I've already done one eye of this look. We're going to use Laura Mercier's powder to put under our eyes just to catch any fallout. I find this to be a very useful tool. Don't forget we want to apply some lip balm really fast so our lips are nice and moist for the lipstick. Now I'm going to take this primer from Urban Decay and apply it to my lid. I like to get a smooth coverage, blend it in with a flat brush. I blend it up to my eyebrows because normally I go for more dramatic looks and I always put something there so I make sure it's blended in there and take a little and just go over the bottom lid using this pretty silver color from the Urban Decay electric palette I'm going to lightly dab it on the lid and you're going to work the shape into a kind of sharp point then I'm going to take my sugar pill loose pigment and we're going to dab it on top of the eyeshadow we're essentially using that eyeshadow as a base to help the pigment stay and this is where you would start shaping out the point a little better. Going back in with my brush from my palette after I've cleaned it, by the way, I use this brush cleaner from Sephora. It works really well. I'm taking this Freak in the same electric palette and just going to lightly press it down on my inner lids. Basically, you just want it about a quarter of the way and after you start dabbing it you can just build it up and turn it around and use the smaller tip get some more of the green and you're going to do a thin line of shadow under your lower water line for eyeliner I'm going to use a nice simple black gel eyeliner and we're going to color the bottom of your water line don't worry about it getting on the bottom taking a smudge brush by elf I'm just going to kind of move a sideways gesture in addition to up and down. We're smudging the green and the black together in addition to smudging it outwards a little bit to give it not such a harsh effect. Using this Illuminating Stripes palette by Ofra and an angled brush, I'm just going to highlight under my brow bone. It's supposed to be like an alien appearance, so I think shiny. I'm just going to blend that in a little bit and once that is the way you like it you can just take the same brush that you used earlier to apply the Laura Mercier powder then you can just wipe it away. Going in with a gel eyeliner we're going to use this pretty black one and an angled eyeliner brush. I start about three-fourths of the way in and slowly work my way out. For this look, I figured that we would do a dramatic cat eye, so I just start from the top about as high up as I want it, draw a line over, and then draw one down and fill it in, and then just go back and work this angle, do a solid line, and make it as straight as possible. Going in with this heavy metal glitter liner by Urban Decay, I'm going to do a thin line right at my eyelashes. It will look as if the glitter is in the mascara itself and this will pop when you add a little miniature cat eye using the same glitter eyeliner. For my eyelashes, I'm going to use an eyelash curler and I do it on one half and squeeze it a couple times and then really tight and then I go on the inner half, squeeze it a couple of times, and then squeeze it really tight. With my mascara, I'm using the Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. Starting with the lower lashes, going to work each lash individually and working it going side to side. Same with the top lashes, working it in each lash going side to side and individually. For bronzer, we're going to use this Pixie bronzer and the brush and obviously contour our cheeks, starting with one side of the cheeks, blending it out thoroughly so it doesn't look like just a chunk of brown, and doing the same thing for the other side of your cheeks. You're going to want to contour all the obvious places under your chin, your nose, 
and your forehead. For highlighter, we're going to go back into Ofra palette and using a combination of the top three colors to highlight our cheeks. We want to look as shiny and alien-like as possible. Make sure you highlight your cheeks, your bridge of your nose, your cupid's bow, and your chin. For setting spray, I use ELF's Makeup Mist and Set Spray. It's super cheap, but it works amazingly well. I spray myself twice in the face, let it dry, and then the lipstick. For lipstick today, we're going to be using Kat Von D's Plan 9. And it is so gorgeous. Before you apply, you wipe off the lip balm you had put on your lips earlier. My little trick, if you watched my videos before, I do the little heart slash X right below my cupid's bow and apply from there going down on each side and then making sure the lines are even and applying to my bottom lip. Do a smooth application and if you need you can apply again. There you have it. The completed look. A little green here, a little green here, a lot of green here. This could work with basically any color combination you want to do. You don't necessarily have to go green. I just wanted to use my new green lipstick by Kat Von D in Plan 9. And that's what inspired me to do this. But, you know, there are plenty of other colors you could do if you need it to fit another look that involves different color combinations. Like, I think this is going to be really cute in a red kind of combination with red and silver for the winter. So maybe I'll do a tutorial for that look. That's kind of an exciting idea. Anyway. Thanks for checking out my channel, guys, and I appreciate your time. Have a good weekend and Halloween. Maybe I'll do another look before then. Maybe not. If not, I'll see you guys after Halloween. Bye.